Okay, brave food for freaking thought. Little freaking food for thought for a change. Just a brief video here. All right, I was at an undisclosed location. It will be disclosed later on. But uh, anyone who... Oh, wait. I mean, posted a picture of anything to Facebook because it's completely undisclosed at this point in time. Anyways, um, a gentleman was telling me about how if humans left the Earth, it would only take a hundred years for the Earth to return back to what it was without us. Now, rewinding the tape. Let's rewind there. There we go. Okay, we're back. Yeah, to the more beginning of the story. Okay, all these rednecks are accused of being crazy for saying things like, I was abducted by aliens. They stuck probes in me and blah, blah, blah. What if they're not too far off here, folks? What if? What if we're the aliens? Our entire race, what if we're aliens, you know? Black, white, orange, yellow, whatever. Whatever. It's all a bunch of labels, okay? We're, we all bleed red. Squint past the skin tone and all that. Range, we're all actually shades of brown. Ranging from such a light shade of brown, we appear white. Some no pigment whatsoever to black as the midnight sky on a starless moonless dark night where even if you couldn't even if you wanted to you couldn't see your hand in front of your face all right yeah imagine that we're all shades of brown Now, think about this a moment. What if we're the aliens? And we came to Earth sent by God as aliens to rescue the Earth. Where a bunch were led astray. And that's how the coming of Christ is near from what I see is it's dark times we're living in but there's a lot of scriptures about the earth's tilt will change by 23 degrees I'm back as a violent shake of the earth when you think about it how many skyscrapers are engineered to handle that. The entire surface of the Earth, the poles of the Earth, rotating 23 degrees. I could put it to you this way. The Earth moves at a good clip. So you think about this a moment. You look at the radius from the core, from the very core of the Earth, very little teeny tiny little center point of the Earth, all the way to the furthest most piece of land. You calculate that on a tilt shift of 23 degrees the forces are hard uh, anyways three days of darkness the earth will tilt yeah, 23 23 degrees and back when it gets light the coming of christ will be there we are in some very metaphorically dark times right now. 
Next coming of Christ is near. Christ is near. Remember that. Now, if we all join together, we can create superpowers from the most unsuspecting people at the most unsuspecting places. Pull it together, folks. We are all on the planet together. We are all in this together. Best of luck, folks. All your prayers, if you're not doing something to achieve what you're wanting to achieve. By the way, if you want to keep people safe, quit calling the cops on your neighbors standing out in the lawn. You know, on their lawn, talking with their kids and stuff. Because guess what? Just because they don't match your standards doesn't mean that they don't have standards of their own. Now, chill, please. That's simple, folks. And uh, if y'all could just keep that in mind to keep first responders safe. It's called minding your own business, right? Something not a lot of people understand the concept of. So there's food for thought. And remember, Christ is near. Be safe. Get out and take a hike. And stay in shape. Christ is near, Christ will rescue us.